What's up guys? Welcome back to the video because I'm having an amazing Monday. Well, today's original All Rides video got removed from the schedule because apparently that park is now defunct. I don't know why it was still listed, but that park is defunct now. And that was going to be Sandy Lake Amusement Park. But then, since it was defunct, we moved on to the next park for the All Rides section, which is Wonderland Park, which is what we're doing today. Now, Wonderland Park is currently temporarily closed. Closed. Temporarily, not permanently, that's the other one, temporarily. But I'm still going to tell you all the rides here, of course. Um, coasters, throw rides, tell you about some family classics and some kiddie rides. So yeah, we'll tell you about all of that stuff in this video. If you guys enjoy my content, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and post notifications. Share it with others. Remember, I have two other channels and they are M Roblox Real Fanning and M Train Vids. And also go subscribe to all the other Real Fanners and roller coaster YouTubers out there stay the server. Let's get right into it. So first up, first up is our coasters and throw rides. First up, we have the Texas Tornado, which is one, uh, which is a roller coaster. Hold on tight for a wild ride in the double loop Texas Tornado. Rated as one of the top 50 steel roller coasters in the United States, this popular ride offers more than 2,000 feet of Texas-sized thrills. The first loop takes you 72 feet high with a 360-degree vertical drop, while the second loop takes you 52 feet high, also with a thrilling 360-degree vertical drop. So that's that's the Texas Tornado. Next up is the Drop of Fear, which is the park's drop tower. Enjoy the amazing view on this ride up and hold on tight for the, the quick drop from the top. Ten stories tall with the state of art lighting, you'll feel free fall, you'll free fall 200 feet in a blink of an eye on the Drop of Fear. This tower and ride came from a traveling Carnival group based out of Florida Everglades. It now stands tall for all of Armadillo to see. This park has a lot more rides than I thought. <laughs> Very funny. Next up is the Fantastic Journey. That's legit the name of the ride. Fantastic Journey. This Wonderland original offers surprises around every corner as visitors slowly twist through the darkened tunnel of thrills. Wonderland founder Paul, Paul Rhodes designed and built the fantastic journey by hand, an impressive task that took him one and a half years. Although many of the tricks and animated items were purchased from international amusement devices, the most popular trick, the animated turning barrel, was created by Mr. Rhodes. Next up is the Cyclone, which is another roller coaster in the park. One of only three roller coasters ever constructed of its kind. The Cyclone is a vintage wild mouse roller coaster standing 36 feet tall and featuring 500 feet of winding track. Sharp switchback turns, steep drops, quickly hop, quick hops, and, spiraling, and a spiraling finale will take your breath away. So hold on tight. The cyclone was named after a storm for a good reason. Next up is the Hornet, which is another roller coaster. They have a lot of roller coasters here, evidently. Once known as the Mayhem Mindbender, this ride was a popular feature at Six Flags Astro World in Houston before finding its new home at Wonderland in 2019. I mean, in 2009. Sorry, not two. Not 2019, 20, 2009. Now known as the Hornet, the West End roller coaster has more than 1,000 feet up track and reaches heights of 27 feet. This is this is a ride the whole family will enjoy. Next up is the Texas Intimidator, reaching 13 yards or 39 feet at its high, 39 feet at its highest point. The Texas Intimidator was originally named the Flipping Action Arm, which re referred to its three large flipping arms and two rotation motions, 
After finding its new home at Wonderland, a name of the ride contest was held and Texas Intimidator was the overall winner. All it takes is just one turn on this exciting ride to see why the new name is a perfect fit. Hey, people are texting me on Discord about I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> Next up is Mouse Trap. You'll scream at the sight of the 52 foot tall Mouse Trap roller coaster, formerly known as the Zyklon. This massive coaster, which is 1,710 feet long, was malfunctioned in Italy before finding its forever home in Armadillo. Located next to the North Gate, this is a fan favorite, is loving as the big coaster by many park visitors. So that is your roller coasters and thrill rides. Next up, we have our Family Classics. Next up is the Old Timer Cars. Enjoy this brand new ride in the West End featuring some great Old Timer Classic cars. Located in the popular West End of the Old Timer's Car Ride is fun for the whole family. Featuring several old time cars and a track that twists and turns. Drivers of all ages will enjoy letting the wind whip through their hair on these old classics. New to Wonderland in 2020. This is one ride you won't want to skip. Next up is the Fiesta Swing. Whiz through the air on a high flying Fiesta Swing adventure. This yo-yo swing ride, which used used to call which used to call Astro World in Houston home, now welcomes the visitors to Wonderland's West End. Formerly known as the Gunslinger, this exhilarating ride is fun for kids of all ages. Seems like this part got a lot of rides from Six Flags Astro World when that part got defunct. Next up is the bumper cars. Follow the sounds of laughter of the bumper car building near the second loop of the Texas Tornado. The addition of this ride in 1969 reflected a major milestone in Wonderland's park history as park owners started adding rides that appealed to older visitors. The original bumper car building was built in, in a house and located across from the ski, ski ball building. The ride was later moved to the north end of the park. We still have a ton of rides, so I don't think I'm going to tell you the kitty rides. You know, I might move fast through the kitty rides. Okay. Next up is the Himalaya. <clears throat> Sorry. Next up is the Himalaya. Do you want to go faster? Hop on one of the rotating Himalaya cars for a musical throw ride set on a sloping track, but be sure to hold on tight. Purchased from France, the Himalaya has been a fan favorite at Wonderland for decades. Next up is the Sky Ride. The Sky Ride glides 41 feet above Wonderland for scenic views of the park at relaxing 225 feet per minute. The family fr friendly ride spans 3 I mean 683 feet and features cars that can hold two adults and one small child. So take a break and take in the sights of the wonderful world of Wonderland from high above. Next up is the Sky Rider. Almost 800 feet long, the Sky Rider monorail takes passengers on a high in the sky journey around the park at a leisurely speed of 3 feet a second. That's that. Next up is the Pirate Ship. Oh! Batten down the hatches and get ready for a breathtaking swing ride aboard Wonderland's famous pirate ship. Next up is the Rainbow. Riders of all ages love the side-to-side -side motion 
of the popular rainbow ride as it reaches its full arc height of more than 65 feet. Next up is the Scrambler. Located next to the Fantastic Journey, the Scrambler is a fan favorite at Wonderland Park. The German designed attraction will leave your head spinning as the cars you're riding in go, go goes in one way. And the ride as a whole spins in the opposite direction. Great times for all visitors of all ages. Next up is the Tilt a Whirl, which is your typical Tilt a Whirl, Tilt -a -whirl ride. Not going to say much about that. Next up is the Wonder Wheel, which is the park's Ferris wheel. You'll say wow when you ride this gondola style Ferris wheel that reaches 54 feet into the air. And then you have the balloons climb into a basket and get ready for a colorful ball excursion. And I'm going to quickly go through the kiddie ride. You have the boats, the helicopters, the frog hopper, the kiddie bumper cars, umbrella car ride, the merry-go-round, the train. And the train. So, yeah. That is all the rides at Wonderland Park. Now, this park is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And since it has a ton of roller coasters, I think I might, I might have to do an all, all rides. I mean, an all stats video for this. But I think I might have missed one thing. So, hold on. Uh, I saw. I saw something earlier. Hold on. We forgot a ride. The Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus roller coaster is one of the Wonderland's newest rides and will have you will have you smiling from ear to ear as you spin round and round. Located in the bustling West End, this coaster was built in 2015 in Italy. Found its home at Wonderland in 2020. The Spinosaurus allows two riders per car for double the fun. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Finally, a long video for you guys.